Hey everyone, Susie Bauer here from the Tasty Remedy. Today I'm sharing with you Thrive Market. This is an online wholesaler for uh, healthy foods, um, your pantry staples, your non-perishable type foods. And so you pay a uh, annual membership, just like you would with Costco, another wholesaler. Uh, and that way you're able to get access to all the great products that Thrive Market has. Um, as well as helping families that uh, can't necessarily afford a membership for themselves, you're helping uh, another family get a membership when you join. So uh, I thought I'd give you just a little rundown of um, how Thrive Market works, some of my favorite products that I like to purchase fairly regularly, and um, just give you these ideas that uh, maybe are going to help you decide if Thrive Market is right for you. So one of the things that I really like is that they have this option to shop by values. So you can see here that there's lots of options, gluten-free for moms, paleo, raw, staples, and vegan. So I typically eat um, close to a paleo diet. So this is uh, gonna have foods that are grain-free uh, and gluten-free, uh, soy-free, uh, dairy-free, uh, refined sugars are not in these foods as well. Um, so that's kind of the, the basics of paleo. So that really helps me whittle down all of the products that they have on this website to those that fit this parameter. Okay, so when you do this, and now it's gonna give you all of the things that might fall into a paleo-like template. So. Uh, we can take it down even further. Um, you can see over here on this side, the left side here, there's lots of different options to choose from. Um, we're gonna start in food. And then from there, let's go into snacks really quickly here, because that's kind of a fun one to start with. Okay, so these are gonna be all some, the different snack foods that fit a, a paleo template. I will encourage you though, that um, when you are picking on individual products that you also look at the ingredients list for these products just to make sure that there's not something else in there that you're trying to avoid because uh, it can get a little tricky sometimes. Um, but this, at least shopping by values, is going to get it um, whittled down to maybe your top priority as far as what kind of foods you want to eat. And then you can um, look a little closer at each individual item to see if it's something that works for you. So Jill's crackers are actually one of the things that I really like. These are the original ones. So I'll just give you a quick look at these when we're looking at a product here. And these, if you're following the 21 Day Sugar Detox, these are approved. Um, I believe it's 10 crackers, which is one serving, is allowed per day. So um, as you scroll down, you can get more information about the products. There's the nutrition information, and then here's the list of ingredients. So you can see they're just really clean, great ingredients that they're using here. So, um, so this could be a product that maybe you want to stock in your pantry to have on hand. So let's go back to where we were. Um, I also really enjoy the Simple Mills crackers, and um, so they've got the, the sea salt ones here, uh, rosemary and sea salt, and these ones um, do have cheddar in them, so they're not 100% paleo, even though they are in the paleo um, template here. Let's see. So yeah, right here you can see there's some organic cheddar cheese. So it's not perfect as far as uh, the <laughs> whittling things down. And that's why, again, I encourage you to always still look at the ingredients list just to be sure. Um, these are pretty tasty. I do tolerate some dairy, so I do, do enjoy these from time to time. So um, some other things, we'll just kind of scroll down so you can get a, a brief look at some other items. Um, the Epic brands, uh, they carry a lot of products uh, through Thrive Market. So um, that's another really great source of like uh, having an easy protein type bar. Um, they have some different uh, beef jerkies in here as well. I do enjoy the new Primal products. Those are pretty nice. The um, sea snacks are awesome too. Uh, these are seaweed, little sheets of seaweed essentially. 
Um, so those can be really nice. Great source of iodine, by the way. So just kind of giving you a quick scroll through here. We're not going to hit every single item, obviously. Um, there's lots of things to choose from. Um, and so this was in the snacks. So we'll go back up to the top here. We're going to clear out snacks. So baking supplies is another really great uh, area to check out for grain-free baking. If you've done any grain-free baking yourself, you know that the ingredients can be quite expensive, uh, but this is a great way to uh, lower the cost for you. So like you can see here, this almond flour, Bob's Red Mill, this is one that I purchased. Uh, I, at my local grocery store, it's essentially this price here, this $12.59 or close to it, uh, but it's $8.39 through Thrive, so that's really fantastic. And I didn't mention it earlier, but orders over $49 always ship for free, so that's another added bonus for shopping with Thrive, is that you do get that free shipping when your order is $49 or more. Um, cassava flour is another wonderful grain-free baking flour. I really like it. You can... Um, essentially use it like uh, regular flour in most recipes. Um, it's not going to be a perfect one-to-one, -one, but um, you'll be pretty darn close. So, and there's lots of ideas online for baking with cassava flour. And even Otto's uh, cassava flour website has some, um, some recipes there that are really great to use. So just scrolling down, there's shredded coconut, arrowroot flour is another one that I use a lot of. Uh, let's see, this one's kind of cool, some hazelnut meal or hazelnut flour, that's kind of cool to see. Coconut flowers, and then Thrive even has some of their own flowers as well. So this one right here is actually a paleo mix, so some different grain-free uh, flowers that they're using there. Um, let's see here, there's some other, we'll just scroll through here. To give you some more ideas, there's another Thrive one, the almond flour, and I haven't tried their um, baking flours yet, but that is on my radar to start doing that and see how those are. Okay, so that's just a rundown on some of the baking there. So now I want to just um, show you by brand. You can break things down by brand. And there's a few things that I want to point out. So we looked a little bit at the Epic already. Uh, so we'll skip that one. Um, Jill's Crackers we looked at. There's some other options. You can see there's four different options. I just showed you one. Okay, Primal Kitchen is one that I'd like to share with you. Okay, so Primal Kitchen. So you can find some salad dressings, mayo, some um, different uh, protein bars that are really great, um, avocado oil, lots of different things here. I'll show you, share with you what my favorites are. Um, this mayo has been a lifesaver. While you can make your own mayo at home, and it's totally easy to do so, I just really prefer buying this, uh, having that as just something easy that's in my pantry or, uh, you know, pantry. And then of course, once you open it in your refrigerator and this is made with avocado oil and cage free eggs. Uh, so it's a really great clean uh, mayo and I'll show you the ingredients on it so you can get to look at that. Okay. So avocado oil, the cage free eggs, um, egg yolks and uh, vinegar, sea salt, and this rosemary extract is essentially acting like a preservative in a way. And this really is one of the big reasons why I get it, is that the one that I'm making at home doesn't have a preservative in it, and so I kind of have to eat it within five days of opening it um, before it goes bad. And I don't necessarily get through a full uh, recipe of uh, my own mayo in that time. So this has been nice for me that I'm not wasting it or feeling like I have to use it in everything um, just in order to make sure it doesn't go bad. So, uh, and this is one of the better prices I've seen for the avocado oil mayo from Primal, Primal Kitchen. So as you can see, you might find it in your grocery store for $10. I've actually even seen it for higher than that, which is um, pretty frustrating to see that. Um, but this has a great price here at Thrive Market. So other things to point out, um, if you like the chipotle lime, they have that in the mayo as well. 
Um, I'm a little bit of a wimp with spice, so I don't do that one too often. Uh, but there's some different dressings that are great for you. Again, this is still following that paleo template, so um, there's no dairy in this. Um, this. We've got Green Goddess. I really like this honey mustard vinaigrette. This is a really tasty one. Uh, another thing that I really love is the um, the Greek vinaigrette that they have. So these two I've got sitting in my fridge actually right now, and so I use those on salads um, and even marinades um, for um, for different meats and stuff. So um, and these chocolate almond bars are pretty darn tasty as well. The the protein that they're using here is grass fed collagen, which I um, I recommend to clients to use that. It's a very clean source of protein. So kind of scroll through, show you a little bit more. There's even a Caesar dressing. I've not tried this one yet, but I look forward to trying that one soon. So let's go back up to the top. Uh, let's see a few other things I could show you. Uh, let's see, I'm going to just use the search function up here for coconut aminos. This is a great substitute if you've not used it before. Uh, instead of soy sauce is using coconut aminos. So you can see there's a few different brands. This is the brand that I use the most. I have also tried this one, which is also pretty tasty, but um, I figure between the two, you know, either one is great. So the price on this one's pretty good as well. We've got a couple extra ounces, but um, not much more added in cost there. Um, so those are the ones there. Now, if you see this liquid aminos, this is actually still a soy product. So I just wanted to point that out for you guys, um, that it does contain soy. So if you're looking to avoid that, you want to make sure that you're avoiding that, uh, this product. So as you can see right there, soybeans is in there. And to go along with my coconut aminos, I also like to use a uh, fish sauce. So uh, we will show you the one that they've got here. And it's the Red Boat fish sauce. This is what I use. And so really only a few drops is what you need in the recipe. You don't have to go too overboard with it um, unless you want to. But it just gives it a lot richer flavor than just the coconut aminos by itself. Okay. Few other things to show you guys. Um, let's see, you can also get a lot of nuts and uh, nuts and seeds and um, you know that are organic and raw. That's a really great thing as well as even some different um, uh, some chips too. So if you're missing chips, if you're been eating kind of a paleo like diet and you're missing some crunch and some chips, um, they do have the Siete Foods chips. And these lime grain-free ones are my favorite. So they're, um, they're a tortilla chip that is not made with corn. So like I said, they're grain-free. So here's the ingredients here, cassava flour, organic, uh, or excuse me, avocado oil, coconut flour, ground chia seeds, sea salt, citric acid, and lime oil. So they're pretty darn tasty. They also have regular just sea salt ones and some um, tortilla, or excuse me, some nacho ones as well. So those are the other types to show you. So, um, so those are some few, just a few of the things that I like to get from um, Thrive Market. Um, oh, these little wraps have been kind of a lifesaver. So let me do show you that one. These guys here. So actually this um, top one, just the plain original coconut wraps and the turmeric ones are really great. As you can see, I already have some in my cart. Um, so I'll show you the ingredients on this one. So this is a great alternative if you're looking for, you know, you want a sandwich or a wrap or some sort uh, without all the grains. And so it's just made with coconut meat, uh, coconut water, uh, coconut oil, and turmeric. Boom. That's it, pretty great. So um, these are fantastic to have. So um, if you've been looking to fill that void, here you go. These are really tasty. Okay, so let's look at the household products too. So I'm gonna go into home. And as you can see in the home section, we've got lots of different things to choose from. So I like to get some of my cleaning supplies here. So the household supplies, we'll go into that. And there's lots of things to choose from here, different cleaning supplies. 
um, different soaps, laundry detergents, and so forth. And what I will say is that, um, you know, there's a lot of really good choices here to choose from, but they may not necessarily be the healthiest for your environment. So I do encourage you that if you find something that you're thinking about using on the website, I'd love for you to go over to the Environmental Working Group website as well and uh, search the product there. You can search household cleaning supplies and it will give you a rating uh, for that product so you can see if it's something that rates really well for you and your family or if it's something that perhaps you should be avoiding, be avoiding based on the ingredients that are being used. Uh, but a few things just to point out uh, that I've used, we'll just scroll down a few of these items here. So I've been using this laundry detergent and um, it's been working pretty well. So I'm happy with that and it rates well on the Environmental Working Group website, ewg.org. Um, and seventh generation, some of their products do really well rating wise, some of them don't. So um, just because one product does, make sure you check all of them because they're, they're gonna be a little bit different. There's these great stasher bags that um, I've not personally used myself, but a friend of mine uses them quite a bit and really likes them. So it's a great way to eliminate your single use plastics. So you just treat these like you would a little plastic baggie. And there's lots more to choose from there. So, uh, but I'll let you go through this and take a look at the things that maybe you want to be replacing in your home so that you're cleaning up your environment in a way that is not uh, releasing a bunch of chemicals out into the air. Um, so we want to make sure that we're avoiding some of these things that could be causing some health conditions for us. So I hope you found that helpful. And um, if you are interested in using Thrive, then I'll put a link down in the comments section for you to check it out. If you've never used it before, um, the, the link will provide you with a pretty good deal to get you started. So any questions that you have, feel free to leave a comment and I hope that this helped you. Happy shopping, bye.